the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety, Media Rights Institute, to run information agency, and employees of the newspaper Azadlıq paid tribute to the founder of the Azerbaijan press Hasan Bayzardabi, one of the creators of the independent press Najaf Najafov, chief editor of the magazine Monitor Elmar Hüseynov, and the journalist who died in the Karabakh war. Manager of the Tron agency Mehman Aliyev said that the freedom of speech will eventually triumph even though the number of the supporters of free media has decreased. Making a speech at the grave of Elmar Hüseynov, Aliyev expressed his belief that great changes will happen in the country soon. Today, visiting the graves of those who struggled for the freedom of media, we send a message to the public that people who are loyal to free press still exist. Struggles for the freedom of media continue, said Aliyev. According to him, free press developed, especially in 1999, and affected public opinion, also the events and processes taking place in the country. A couple of years ago, tens of media captains, together with us, came to visit our colleagues' graves, but today they go to other events. It's hard to continue the struggle under these conditions, but it's also honorable, he said. After Elmar Hüseynov's death, some colleagues made a deal with the government. This deal is now finished and the number of heroic journalists supporting free press got stabilized, said Hazi. By Zardabi's grave, journalists met his descendants, who are unhappy with the authorities' attitude towards his heritage. Hassan by spouse Madame Hamida, who used to head a girls' gymnasium in Baku, rests by his side without any grave monument. There is no monument to Zardabi in Baku, said the Enlightener's grandson Sattar Zardabi, who has been residing in a dormitory for 30 years. Speaking by the graves of journalists killed during Karabakh war, IRFS chairman Emin Hüseynov said journalists fight not only for freedom of speech, but also freedom of their homeland. They sacrifice their lives to make the truth known to people.